Well, hello again, it's Russ Barkley back again with another commentary on topics related to ADHD. Uh, a shout out to Talana in South Africa for drawing this one to my attention. We're going to talk about a proposed new therapy for ADHD, mainly offered by chiropractors, excuse me, particularly those working in the area of functional neurology. So let's have a quick look at what these people are proposing to do to treat ADHD. Listen in. Welcome back to Unraveling the Brain. I'm your host, Dr. Josh Matson. I am going to talk about something called photobiomodulation, also known as low-level light therapy, laser light therapy, and give you a little bit of a breakdown of what it does, how it works, all of those types of things in this episode because we've, you know, as we've had videos taken off and going viral on social media, that's the number one question we get is what what are those lasers or what are those lights? Yeah, no kidding. What are those lasers? What what are those lights? What is going on here? I mean, this is the first time I've seen something like this. And uh, I got to tell you, I am absolutely amazed at the um, effort to propose this as a new therapy for ADHD. So let's listen a little bit more to Dr. Madsen. You're using, so I want to explain it in a little bit more detail, I'll give you some resources so you guys can learn as well. Yeah, Photobiomodulation, simple. Mm -hmm. Photons, photo, light, bio, body, modulation. Changing body through light. Really simple. And it's been around for years. It's been around for 70, 80 years from... Uh, actually, Josh, no, it's not. It was discovered in 1967. So let's put it at about a little over 50 years, maybe. And it was discovered by accident by a Hungarian physician who was testing light on damaged cells. I think that's something to do with cancer. But uh, be that as it may, let's see what else he has to say. Therapeutic standpoint, it has some of the most research behind it on as a therapy tool than any other therapeutic strategy. In the bet that is nonsense. I'm sorry. That is just blowing smoke, folks, because it does not have anywhere near as much evidence for its effectiveness compared to the evidence based treatments for ADHD or other neurodevelopmental disorders that Dr. Madsen goes on to talk about in this video. I'm not going to go on with the video much further. Uh, you have some idea of what they're proposing to do here. Uh, later in the video, he talks about how this light, this laser light, penetrates the skull, gets into the brain, activates critical areas of the brain that underlie certain forms of neurodevelopmental disorders and other medical disorders as well, and can improve the functioning of those tissues. He also argues uh, that there are little or no side effects from this treatment and that it is highly effective. Really? Well, let's find out a little bit more about Dr. Madsen and this clinic out in Iowa. The clinic, as you see here, is known as Infinity Functional Neurology. And we discover that Dr. Madsen got his undergraduate degree in exercise science from the University of Northern Iowa, then went on to the uh, to get his doctor of chiropractic medicine in at the Palmer College of Chiropractic Training. So uh, those are his credentials. He's gone on to get some additional training in functional neurology, which is a subfield of functional medicine, and they operate a clinic for children with a variety of disorders, including autism, ADHD, and other difficulties. Let's have a quick look at what functional medicine is. Over at Wikipedia, you can see that it says, functional medicine is a form of alternative medicine that encompasses a number of unproven and disproven methods and treatments. By the way, the word alternative can also be retranslated to not scientific. Because if it was scientific, you wouldn't be calling it alternative medicine. It would be part of the larger field of evidence-based, science-based medicine, psychiatry, psychology, what have you. Wikipedia goes on to say that it has been described as pseudoscience, quackery, and its essence is the rebranding of complementary and alternative medicine for use 
in treating medical disorders and psychiatric disorders. They don't say that. I've just added that in. In the United States, functional medicine practices have been ruled ineligible for course credits by the American Academy of Family Physicians because of concerns they may be harmful. Not going to read any more from there. You can go to Wikipedia and read more on it on your own. Needless to say, this is not a striking, unqualified endorsement of functional medicine, much less functional neurology. By the way, another word for functional neurology is chiropractic neurology. So let's take a look at whether or not there is any evidence for the use of this low-level laser light therapy on the head for the management of ADHD. We did a, um, excuse me, I did a Google Scholar review and uh, looked across uh, the various studies that are there. There's hardly anything in the journals on ADHD, a little bit more on autism spectrum disorder, but when you look at the studies, they are junk. Here's one, the efficacy of photobiomodulation for ADHD case studies. This is published over in the World Journal of Neuroscience, and it simply goes through eight different cases in which they did this photolight therapy and then ask the people whether they got better or not. So it's basically seven case testimonials, nothing more. Well, that is not evidence. That is anecdote. It's not based on any controlled research. There are no rigorous controls, no placebos, no sham photobiomodulation. There's no effort to blind individuals from who's getting the legitimate treatment versus who isn't. There's no good statistical procedures being applied here. It's just junk. It is pseudoscience, basically no better than advertising would be on television or on uh, other media. So at this point, all we can say about photobiomodulation for ADHD is the best I can tell you is it we don't know if it works. But what I can tell you is it certainly sounds like snake oil to me. Shining lasers on the head to improve brain functioning for neurodevelopmental disorders just makes no sense. So we await the appropriate scientific trials that involve randomization to sham treatment and to legitimate low-level laser light treatment, this photobiomodulation, with appropriate other controls and objective measures of the outcomes. So we'll see if we ever get that far. Uh, and by the way, as I found over at the website for Dr. Madsen, they'll also sell you the lasers if you'll go to their website and fill out a form and they'll decide whether or not to ship you this product. So obviously they have something to sell besides the therapy that they do for families itself. At this point, we're just going to refer to this as an unproven junk remedy for ADHD until we see more evidence for its effectiveness. So I thought I'd better call your attention to that. Uh, again, my thanks to a subscriber for calling my attention to this. But at this point, as far as we know, photobiomodulation therapy of the head does not work no matter what Dr. Madsen has to say about it. The evidence, that is the scientific evidence, simply isn't there. Okay, thanks for joining me for this commentary. We'll have other commentaries later in the week. And as always, be well, live well, and y'all take care. Thank you.